much of a windscreen, but I'm driving my Austin Healy 100 to the Heartland British Auto Fest in LeClaire, Iowa. Cassie's with me today. Here's what our view looks like out front. Well, right here in the middle of nowhere, behind me is just cornfields. We've run into the birthplace of Buffalo Bill Cody, the famous cowboy and owner of the Buffalo Bill Cody Wild West Show. When Buffalo Bill was born here, Iowa was not yet a state, and this was called the Iowa Territory. Well, we made it. We're here on the banks of the Mississippi River. You can see it right there. Directly behind us is the Freedom Rock for Scott County. Every county in Iowa has one of these Freedom Rocks. And they're decorated to commemorate veterans. Uh, they have different wars, different time periods painted on them. To the left of me is the small town of LeClaire, Iowa. Down here, right along the river, is where we have our car show. There is a river boat there in the background that will be taking tourists up and down the river all day. Of course, Buffalo Bill served in the Civil War. He was fighting for the North. First off, we have a Jaguar F-Type, then an X-Type next to that, and an XJS, a V12. This one's a coupe. I had a black one of these. It was one of my favorite cars that I've ever owned. However, if something goes wrong with the V12 engine, even a coolant leak can be a problem because there is 32 coolant hoses on that engine. It's a very nice bug eye here. Let's see if the engine tag, engine tag is gone. That's pretty normal when you get these machined. So there's no way to tell what size this one is right now. But this is a very nice restoration. These are digital gauges. So it has a GPS speedometer there, and you can tell that's a digital tachometer as well. So it's not using the cable off of the generator. He's actually done a wire wheel conversion on the hubs here, and these are actually knockoff aluminum wheels. Dual exhaust tips. And here we have a beautifully restored MGB GT aluminum radiator there. But other than that, looks pretty stock. Obviously not the correct air filters. Completely stock looking inside. This is a very nice car. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera, but this is a very nice restoration. We've got a, another MGB, a Roadster this time. Another MGB Roadster. I got two TR6s and a later rubber bumper MGB down there. This MGB is a little different. It has painted rubber bumpers. Here's an MGTD. Next to that, a Jaguar Mark II. And we have a Westfield Lotus 7 light car, MGTC. You can see the XPAG engine there. They have a spin on oil filter conversion. Next to that is an MG that's pretty rare here in the United States. This is a Y type. It's a convertible. Pretty big back seat, actually. 
I think I've only ever seen a handful of these in the United States. We've got a TR6, Jaguar E-Type. This one is a Series 2 with the 4.2 liter inline 6. Next to that is a beautiful Range Rover. Here in the United States, you don't see these very often. Plenty of people drive the modern Range Rovers, but you don't see these older Range Rovers around on the streets anymore. I don't know if this one goes off road, but it's certainly set up to go so. It's a Jaguar XK and a Triumph TR6. MGA Roadster, MGB Roadster, and then a highly modified MGB Roadster. This one looks to have a Ford V8 in it. Disc brakes all around. And we've got a Spitfire 1500, an Austin Healey 3000. This one has auto meter gauges in it. Not original, but the contrast of the white with the blue looks really good. This is the 104 that I brought. Took the bonnet off and shoved it under the back of the car because I don't have hinges in the front. So that's what I had to do to let people see the engine. I think these cars look just right with the windscreen folded down. So that's the way I keep it usually. Next to that is a very rare MG D-Type. They only made 250 of these. This is very similar to the J2 Midget that I had. With the bonnet up, you can see right into the car. There's the seats. It's a very short engine, very tall as well. It's a very, very cool car. And we've got an MGB Roadster, Mini Cooper, another TR6. TR3 next to that. This one looks like an older restoration. It's good to see the original temp gauge. Those are getting rarer and harder to find as those break. Triumph TR4 next to that. And a TR6 next to the TR4. And then we've got an absolutely gorgeous MGA with these white wall tires. I know it's an American thing, but I think the cars look good with the white walls. And here we have a BSA Victor motorcycle. This is 441 cubic centimeters. Morris Minor pickup truck. Seeing this really makes me want to finish mine, get mine going. Just had to get it over far enough. Lotus Elan next to that. You don't see these very often. This one appears to be completely original. Even the paint looks original to me. I've got another Mini Cooper MGB Roadster. And here we have another nice MGA. This one is a coupe. Also has the white wall tires fitted. This does not look like an original MGA color, but it looks really good on this car. We have another V12 XJS. This one has a brand new paint job on it. It looks really good. Yellow bug-eyed Sprite. I have to say the yellow bug-eye really stood out when it pulled up here today. And a Jaguar XJ. Looks like an XJ6. It's got triple Webers on this car. Fully custom exhaust looks there. Got a six-cylinder Jaggy type here. Another MGB Roadster. Another E-Type. This time a V12. Convertible. Looks like the engine was just freshly restored. Looks like the entire car was freshly restored. It's got the air conditioning. And here we have a Swallow Duretti. These were built on Triumph TR2 chassis. You can see the Triumph engine right there. Pretty incredible mess of wiring here for the regulator and the flasher unit. Wonder if his charging system was overcharging the battery or if he just washed his car, but you may want to look at that. This car looks to be in original condition. The seats certainly are. Paint has a lot of scuffs and dings. It may be original as well. 
got very strange accents here on the rear these little fins that stick out from the rear quarter okay we just made it through the row of all the cars and which one was your favorite cassie the jaguar e-type that red one that we saw yeah i'd have to say that my favorite is the mg d type that is a very rare car I just finished up filling out my ballot, so I'm going to go submit this and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're going to have some um, sponsorships here. Best of show goes to 1931MG, Dennis, and Crystal Clem. Well, my car ended up being in the top 20, so I did get an award. The MG next to me won best of show. I had a good time here today, and if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.